This is Sandra Willis. Queen of Doggin. Queen of Doggin. Yeah. First moving day. Um, I need to get myself to a post office today. Um, and also, I want to put the washing machine on, so I need some water. So I'm cruising. It's not the nicest day to cruise, but Joy's a boating, isn't it? Look, we're here. Got me coffee, no hip flask, because I'm going to have some later. Let's go. I always have trouble trying to find the old. What about you? Fantastic time there, Maud at Gurnet. Um, what the best thing about it was Simon came and brought me that drone, which is fantastic. It's been quite windy, so I've not had a chance to fly it since, and I still need to do my test, but I've got that to do. It's something to focus on, isn't it? Something to look forward to. So I've got that, and one of the other things that happened was I managed to meet a lot of my friends in the pub there, the Old King's Head pub, and it was so lovely. My friend Sandra Willis, she came all the way over from Ireland. <laughs> because she's over on her boat in Ireland at the moment. <laughs> this is Sandra Willis. She's such an inspiration, that woman. She took a narrow boat, single-handed. She took it over on a lorry to Ireland and she's now cruising all the Irish canals all on her own. So yeah, so she's, she's great and she's such fun as well. And I uh, also met her with some other traders, Jan Valance off the art boat, she's a very, very talented artist. And also Jules and Pete off the hippie boat friends Kay and Steve off the oat cake boat and also toasty from the toasty boat so it's so lovely because over winter when you're not trading you don't see each other that much so it's really lovely to have a big catch up and see what everyone's plans were for the next year you know where everyone's going so that was really really lovely so it's important guys friendship is so important Field is quite famous for those, I think they're called snake bridges, the horse bridges. They're beautiful bridges. It, it's where the horses used to go up the towpath over and round the other side when the towpath swapped sides. Yeah, so uh, they're brilliant, they are, and the Mac has lots of those. So I'm loving these walls here, absolutely beautiful coming into Macclesfield. And I'm down in the ditch, yes, and the houses are all up there. Lovely. I'm just at the water point now. So I'm at the water point now, water's filling in, washing machines on. I'm only doing it on a quick wash and I've thrown it all in together. Now that I'm not teaching anymore, I don't bother about my clothes. As long as I clean, I've thrown the bloody whites and colours and everything in together there. So, so yeah, so just hope they're all right. And then I'm going to go along now and try and find the first mooring and moor up so I can get to a post office. That's me target today. That's me chores. And then I've already got three bags of coal left on my roof now as well. So I'm going to move on to Bollington in to maybe tomorrow or the day after and go to Bollington Wharf because they've got um, coal, sell coal. Just a quick shout out to our new Patreon, Chris D from Chattanooga. Welcome aboard. So we just need to find ourselves a nice little mooring now. It looks like all the moorings are full here. So I can't moor here, but I'll try and find somewhere a bit further up. Oh. So guys, it looks like we're going to Bollington instead. Can't find anywhere to moor. I was offered to moor alongside some friends of mine then, but I was already sort of past. So I'll just go to Bollington. It's gone a lovely day. We'll make it. It's still morning. 
We've got plenty of time and it's a beautiful day. So this is why I don't make a plan when I'm cruising. Um, my idea was today when I first set off was to go and get water, moor up in the Macclesfield, go to the post office and stay there a couple of days. But obviously the moorings were all full. And the problem is with the Maxwell Canal is you can only really moor on the dedicated moorings because it's so shallow, but it's a beautiful canal. So now I'm going on to the next place, which is Bollington, because they've got a post office. So it just means a little cruising, a little extra jolly, really. So this is why it's so good not to sort of make plans, really. You, you just go where it takes you, and that's part of the fun. now and the post office is just down there so I'm gonna head off down there now I can't get in properly this is the Macclesfield canal and um, so that's how far I'm away from the bank best thing about having a boatman's cabin is it can hang all my washing up I've got it all hanging up <laughs> so it's been that long since I've rode my trusty Brompton because the towpaths have been far too muddy that my tyres have gone down, so I'm gonna. I've got an electric pump here that plugs into my cigarette lighter. <laughs> Had it years. I'm gonna pump these up now and then get off to the post office. I've got a big school order in that needs to get posted off today. So that's it, job done. Let's go. <laughs> I'm wetter than a mermaid's minge, getting drenched. Oh, bloody hell. I'm soaked. And my legs are struggling to pedal because they're so wet. So that's it, guys. I'm almost home now. I made the post office uh, and I went to a co-op as well and got loads of supplies. So, yeah, so all is good. Made it just before five. So I'm going to get home now. Get the kettle on and put a rum in a nice strong coffee. That's the plan. <laughs> Good morning, babies. Yeah, I'm going to try and fly my drone. I've passed my test. I've spent ages the past few nights revising for my operator's licence and my flying licence and uh, I've passed. So I'm absolutely made up. So I need to get out and practice on the drone itself now. I've done all the theory. Now to do some flying. So I've got the drone with me and we're going to go now and have a practice. I'm all set up in this field. I've got my brew with me, my extra fresh coffee from this morning. And I'm gonna have a go now because it's a big open space. So I shouldn't have any problems. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Let's have a go.
So I'm just trying to see if I can land it now. This is my first landing on my own. And uh, yeah, not the best. <laughs> Simon, I absolutely love this drone. Thank you so much for all your help, for giving it to me, for training me and teaching me some things. I know I need to lots and lots of practice. But your generosity and everything has just made my, well, it's made my year. So thank you so much. I can't believe the generosity of some people. Absolutely love it. <laughs> So I'm feeling a little bit cocky now. I'm going to give it a go over the water and over this beautiful view that I've got behind me. Let's, uh, let's give it a go, eh? So uh, I have to go inside now and see how much footage you got because I didn't realise it was beeping on the thing and thought, oh, what's it beeping for? And I had a little look, but the sun was in my eyes, so I couldn't really see the screen very well because I was looking at the drone itself and uh, my SD card's full. <laughs> so I don't know if I've got any footage at all. That's part of the fun, isn't it? But it's back in one piece. So yeah, so I really enjoy it. It's great. A little bit complicated to fly. I'm still trying to suss it because you have to spin it around in the air and but, yeah, really enjoying it. A bit of fun. So I'm somewhere on the Middlewood Way. I'm trying to find this little tiny train station because I'm going to go and surprise my mum today because it's Mother's Day. So I've bought myself a little train ticket. So I've got two trains to catch and I've just got to find this station and this lovely little nature reserve. Um, I can't get to it by road, I don't think. I've had a look on Google Maps. I couldn't see out, so... Yeah, a little bit of an adventure at nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So I'm on my little Brompton. It's not ideal. I've not got a big downhill mountain bike or a scrambler. I'm on these little things and I've found the railway track. I just can't find the bleeding station. So I'm carrying on going along the railway track, hoping to come to the station, basically. Gosh. I've made it. Um, this train station is completely, there's nothing here. It's in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of this place called the Middlewood Way. Let me just show you. It's absolutely fabulous. I don't think I've ever seen a station so remote. There's not even a main road to get to it, just this Middlewood Way or through all the outback that I've just done. <laughs> so I need to find which platform I'm going from now. So I'm all folded up, ready to go on the train. That's the brilliant thing about a Brompton, is they're just on carry-on luggage. People take them on planes, coaches, everything. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go on the first of my trains. So we just got to the train station and the train was cancelled. They just cancelled it. So I've met this lovely lady. Hi. <laughs> and uh, we're just trying to get to the main road now and we're getting a taxi into Stockport. We're going to share a taxi together. got here now after paying for a taxi with that lovely lady and this train's cancelled you couldn't make this up you really could not make this up so far I've spent so much money on two tickets both cancelled and a taxi oh. but mother you're worth it hopefully I'll get there sometime today I just can't believe it so the train's cancelled and I said what time's the next one and they said, oh, there isn't another one. We're putting on a replacement bus. So I'm now <laughs> waiting for the bus to come. Oh, bloody hell. I hope this bus has got a bar because I'm in need of an alcoholic beverage. Yeah, the next night, <laughs> so after a two and a half 
half hour delay but we've made it to where I was aiming to get to so just a short bike ride now oh the thing is with public buses I don't know what it is but they always smell of sweaty feet Betty Swallocks and hobnobs oh can't believe it anyway off to see me mom right I'm absolutely gutted here for some reason my GoPro went into time-lapse mode and instead of recording it normally, recorded it all as a time lapse. But anyway, she was very surprised and pleased to see me. So that's the main thing. Bummer. Hi, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Well, guys, I've just got home. My dad dropped me off, bless him. So cheers. Oh, just wet the lips. Um, it was so lovely spending some quality time with my mum. She deserved it. My mum and dad, oh, they're just amazing. And it was so amazing to spend all that quality time. The journey there wasn't, though. It was horrific. <laughs> but I got there and made it and spent some time as well. My brother, my nieces and nephews, my sister-in-law. It was, it was just fantastic. So anyway, so I'm back home. If you have liked the video, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And press the bell end if you want to receive notifications when I release a new one. But that's it for this week, guys. So before I go, a big shout out to this week's pirate crew. And here they are, me hearties. We've got the lovely Eric Vaughan, Chuck Bledsoe, Ralph Ward, Fishless Clive, David Van Wart, Stephen Brody, Norm and Laura Vandal Handel, Andrew 123B, Captain Glenn, Keith Wabry, Tony Hayes, and the lovely Gary and Pam. Thank you so much, guys. And also a shout out to the Patreons who work behind the scenes advising me and giving me loads of moral support. So thank you so much to all my lovely Patreons. Anyway, guys, take care and I'll see you next time. <laughs>